Hello everyone, welcome to the session on inheritance in object oriented databases. In this session, uh, we will be talking about how the inheritance takes place in the normal object oriented databases. Okay, what are the types of inheritance and how a table we can uh, design using inheritance. Talking about the learning outcome at, at the end of this session, you will be able to design a table or a relation using this inheritance. Now say consider here the example what we have defined here. Suppose that we have the following type of the definition. What is the definition? Create a type person. So person is one uh, type we, have we are defining with the name and address already. Okay, And now this person we want to inherit in one of the other type. Okay. So, here we are defining another type called as student. We know that student is also holding the characteristics of a person like name and address here in this case. So, we are uh, basically in inheritance what is there? Inheritance means what reusability. Okay. Already existing things are there, defined things are there. We, we are reusing that, we are extending those one that is called as inheritance. right? So, here also already the person type is defined, we are reusing it. Okay. So, in student again we are not adding name and address, we are only extending that by degree and department. Automatically as it is inherited here see using the keyword under okay, we are inheriting. So, in SQL whenever you are creating a type when you are using a keyword called as under it is nothing but we are inheriting. Okay. And after under the, the type which is a super type we have to specify. So, in this case person is a super one, super type and student is a subtype. Why? Because from the person so type we are defining the student type. So, person here is a super type and student is a subtype and already the student whenever we are uh, inheriting here automatically it is holding the characteristics of a person as well. Similarly, we are defining one more, uh, one more type here called as a teacher. What the teacher is there? It is uh, we are inheriting in this uh, teacher again the person type. So, automatically the features of a person like name and address are included here. Okay, It is inheriting in the teacher and uh, as well as uh, what are extended here? The salary and the department uh, features are extended in this one. Okay, So, you can see here that uh, create type student and create type teacher we are defined. Okay, and whenever we are uh, subtypes, we are redefining okay, the methods, we can override those methods also in the place of normal method declaration. Less, we will see them later on. Okay. Now, so in this example, the student and the teacher, these are the subtypes and the super type is a person. Okay, diagrammatically, you can see here that how we have defined here. Okay, person is a super type and it is defined by uh, the student which is inherited by person as well as the teacher is also inherited by person here. Let us talk about that earlier thing is called as a single inheritance. Why? Uh, because only uh, one super class is there and multiple subtypes are there, super types and subtypes. In multiple inheritance what happens? Multiple super types are there and one subtype we are holding. Okay. Basically this multiple inheritance it is not supported by SQL 99 and two, SQL 2003. Okay, these are supported by other SQL versions. Uh, in our system, let us see that how we can define multiple inheritance. Uh, we are defining by uh, say for example, we want to define a type called as teaching assistant. What this uh, teaching assistant is? Teaching assistant means what? Uh, a person who is a teacher as well as a student. Okay, he is uh, uh, studying in the higher classes and he can teach to the junior classes also. That is, uh, that person is called as a teaching assistant. So, he is holding the characteristics of student as well as a teacher. So, what we are doing? We are defining this type teaching assistant as uh, under student and teacher. So, under student and teacher, under is for inheritance we are using in the SQL, student and teacher these are the two types. Okay, Diagrammatically, if we want to see that, see how we it is represented. So, here how it is represented? It is represented in this way. We are creating a type person with name and address. So, earlier we are we have created this is a single inheritance. So, student and teacher are the types of this person and now these two we have inherited in this one. Okay, so, if we want to inheritance here, what will come here? Just recall this. See what it is. 
it is create type teaching assistant under student and teacher so automatically this multiple inheritance we have applied here so uh, it is inherited by two super types what are the super types here student and teacher are becoming the super types for this one and teaching assistant become the sub type right now let us see how can uh, we uh, we create the example of this one uh, say for example now see here in this one what happens that person is uh, you can say there is a conflict in the uh, name of this one why because uh, two occurrences of the department will happen here one is for the student as well as for the teacher here so for that we are removing that conflict in this way what we are doing uh, creating we are saying that create type teaching assistant under student where department of this student we are naming it as student department and department of this teacher we are naming it as teacher department so automatically what happens the department whatever in student and teacher the two things are there those are not conflicting here okay those will come as student department and the teacher department okay now uh, see for example uh, earlier example the single inheritance we are uh, we have defined a type person okay and if we want to create a table of that one then how we are uh, basically doing it uh, we are doing this by create table people of person okay so automatically the table uh, is created by of type person here okay similarly we want to create the table of students so create table students of student okay uh create table teacher of teacher okay under people uh, what is people people is a person table right so uh, we are creating the sub tables under this one okay each table each tuple in a sub table okay for example students or a teacher these are implicitly present in its super class okay in the in the super tables remember that whenever we are uh, creating the tables okay then automatically each tuple in a sub table Uh, whatever the student and teachers are there these are implicitly present in the super tables which is a people table similarly another example here we are creating the table using multiple inheritance so create table teaching assistant of teaching assistant because teaching assistant is a type here we have defined under how tables uh, under types what students and teachers right so under the uh, tables stu to students and teachers but this multiple inheritance is not supported by sql 99 now talking about the table inheritance what are the roles of this one uh, how the table inheritance takes place now basically this table inheritance uh, it is useful for modeling the roles okay it is permitting a value for uh, multiple types a uh, most specific type like uh, type type inheritance without having the type inheritance okay uh, without uh, having a more specific type like uh, your type inheritance for example now see here what is there uh, an object whenever we are saying an object okay it can be in the students uh, and the teacher sub table simultaneously uh, it is uh, without having to be a sub table of student teachers okay it 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 might be there in the students as well as the teacher without having to be in the sub table of student teachers which is under the students and the teachers and an object can gain or lose the roles also corresponding to inserting deleting okay from the sub tables right now let us talk about what are the consistency requirements for these sub tables consistency requirements on uh, these sub tables and super tables uh, what is the first thing that is each tuple of the super table for example here our super table is people which can correspond to at most one tuple in each of the sub tables in uh, students and teachers remember this so the consistency requirement one is what every tuple of the super table can correspond to at most one tuple of each sub table okay so at most one tuple of each sub table the second one consistent requirements on sub tables and super tables okay this is the additional constraint in sql 99 what it is saying all tuples corresponding to each other okay that is with the same values for the inherited attributes must be derived from one tuple inserted into one table okay all tuples which are related corresponding to each other they must be derived from one tuple and inserted into that particular 
table also that is each entity must have a most specific type uh, we cannot have a tuple in people correspond to a tuple each in students and teachers that is the second consistency requirement in this example okay so here these are the requirements consistency requirements of the sub tables now uh, in the table inheritance let us see the storage alternatives how we can uh, store them what are the uh, things uh, considerations for the st uh, storage alternatives uh, the first thing is what we uh, store only the local attributes and the primary key of the super table in sub table okay so the first alternative is what store only the local attributes and the primary key of the super table in sub table and the inherited attributes which are derived by means of a join with the super term, super table okay uh, whatever the inherited attributes are there those are those are derived by means of the join the second alternative is what each table stores all inherited and locally defined attributes super tables implicitly are considering implicitly containing the inherited attributes of all tuples in their sub tables okay those are accessing all the attributes of a tuple uh, in the faster way no joins are required because the, those are connected okay if entities must have a more specific type okay tuple stored in only one table where it was created otherwise there could be redundancy right there could be red redundancy here so these are the storage alternatives for the table inheritance these are my references thank you